Hey, Rita? Yeah? Where do you keep your toothpaste? What are you looking for, tooth polish? Toothpaste, yeah. Just use a baking soda. Baking soda? Uh, what the hell, I can skip a night. Oh, I've never noticed this picture before. Is that you when you were a little girl? Oh, yeah. That's the summer my family went to D.C. That, uh, flag's missing some stars there. <laughs> Why don't you come to bed, Brian? What do you say we make a little whoopee? Yeah, sure. Why not? Mm. <laughs> <sighs> you okay? I'm not hurting you, am I? No, I'm fine. What are you talking about? I, I just want to make sure you're comfortable. <laughs> oh, I love you, Brian. Suck it to me. What? Ouch! What's wrong? Oh, nothing. When I'm on my back, sometimes my breast can slide in my armpit. Just got pinched, that's all. Okay. <laughs> Was that your boob? God, no! I, I think I broke my hip. Oh, my God! What, what, what should I do? Call the number on my bracelet. It says Murray Hill 4185. That's not enough numbers. That's the number, Brian. Just dial zero and read it to Sarah. For God's sake, Rita! <sighs> she's fine. She's out of surgery and she's resting. Well, how did she break it? Did she fall? Well, uh, she, yes, she fell. Boy, you know, Brian, a woman her age comes in here. They don't always leave. Peter, she's gonna be okay. Listen, Brian. You say the word, and I'll go in there with a pillow, and you won't have any more problems. How many times do I have to tell you I'm sticking by this woman? I love her. Well, careful, Brian. Sometimes the things you love can disappoint you. Like that Playboy issue. <sighs> Here we go. Playboy's Women of the Olympics. Wow, those are some broad shoulders. Okay, I guess small boobs are good for swimming. That... that... those are balls. Brian? Is the soup ready? Yep, got it right here. Oh, good. I need to take my pills. It's been three hours. You know, they warned me these blue ones were going to make me constipated. Right they were. Okay. I am plugged up. No, I, I got it. Do it, Brian. Do it. <laughs> it's me as a pillow. You know what, Brian? Oh, I could really use some milk of magnesia. Okay, well, I'll go pick some up. Thanks, Brian. I love you. Oh, and if you're going out, get some milk of magnesia. Yeah, you just said that. <laughs> I am plugged up. <sighs> wow, you are really pretty. Thanks. You know, uh, I wrote a book. What's that? It's like a long magazine. Huh? It's like the internet made out of a tree. Oh, weird. You want to have sex in the bathroom? Oh, gosh, what a treat. Yes, yes, I, 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 would, I would like that. Boy, that took you a long time. Did you have to wait for the streetcar? Look, Rita, I have a confession to make. I met a girl, I had a couple of drinks, and I slept with her. You what? I know. I feel awful. It was a terrible thing to do. I'm so sorry. It'll never happen again. But there's an upside. You see, these past few weeks, I've been doubting whether we're compatible, you know, because of the age difference. But I realized that that doesn't matter. That what, what I get from you is what I always wanted. A smart, sexy, real person who I can talk with and share every piece of me with. I had a moment of weakness today, but... In a way, it's all right, because it's taken me to a place where I now realize that you're not too old for me. Isn't that great? You're not too old for me. You know what, Brian? You're not old enough for me. What? You cheated on me. That's what happened today. You can rationalize it any way you want, but to me, all that shows is that you're an immature guy who doesn't realize what a catch I am. I'm sorry, Brian, but you screwed up. Now, please go. But Rita... Go! You can leave my apartment key on the Davenport. Here? No, the Davenport, the Chesterfield. On this? No, does that look like a divan to you? Here? Ugh, leave them on the Schiffer robe. You know what, just take your keys. I don't know what the you're talking about. 